The financial system, it's rigged, and you know that. But do you have an idea as to just how corrupt it has become? I mean, your American dream, it's being stolen right from under your nose and you're out to lunch while it's happening. Wall Street today, it's acting with a level of greed that would make Gordon Gecko say, damn! You know, it was Mark Twain that said, it's easier to fool a person than it is to convince them that they've been fooled. Well, you've been fooled. Yep, that happened. It's still happening. And it's the American people's reluctance to be unfooled or do anything about it that's causing the greatest economic engine the world has ever known to disintegrate before our eyes. But what can you do? Easy. It's all about positioning, and I'm gonna get to that. But first, you've got to look at this different. We've got to unfool you. And Mark Twain says this part won't be easy. What do you say? Strap in, let's go. Now, this goes deep, and it gets complicated far beyond any of our understanding. But there's enough right on the surface that a deep dive, it isn't necessary to wake up the sleepiest of sheep. So, starting with the big picture, we live in a debt-based system where people are punished for saving money. It's the inflationary monetary policy that's eating your savings like the termites eating your front porch. I mean, you don't know that they're there, but one day, seemingly without notice, you step out there and, and that porch is gonna collapse. See, the system, it's making losers out of the American people. And to think everyone got all in a, in a tizzy when Kiyosaki said more than 20 years ago now that savers are losers. Americans are getting their asses handed to them in this rigged system. So to turn the tables in your favor, you just gotta think different. You've got to reposition. And it's a simple thing to do. It's just understanding how money works. So if you can't save it, invest it, right? No, not so fast. It's not that simple because there's a smaller picture to look at. You see, there's a system within the system that's taxing that ass too, and in more ways than one. First, there's this thing, high frequency trading, or HFT. You heard of this? You see, this dirty scheme, it cheats stock market investors in broad daylight. And not just small time investors like you and me, but the elite peeps too, who manage billion dollar pension and mutual funds, and, and thus indirectly, it cheats us again. It works like this. These traders, they got these computer programs that know what investors are gonna do milliseconds before even they do. Wait, how do they know what I'm gonna do before I know? You're thinking that right? Yeah, I totally get it. See, there's this other thing called artificial intelligence or AI. You heard of this? Yeah, turns out you've got patterns. You're predictable. This AI, it reads you like an open book. And so these traders, they move the market up or down almost instantaneously, buying your stock picks at lower prices just before you buy them and then selling them to you at a higher price just before you click that little buy button on your Robinhood app. That ain't fair, right? No, it's not, but it's what's so. This little computer program is robbing Americans of billions. Now initially, this tech, it was limited to just a handful of traders with big degrees in math and science working in small independent shops. But now, Wall Street's biggest banks are all in and fill in their pockets at the average day trader's expense. And the only way that you can win that game is by repositioning. And I'll get to that in just a minute. Now, second thing, you got insider trading. Yeah, like Martha Stewart. But it don't stop at the queen of cookbooks. No, it's big and it happens daily and it's happening right now. But prosecutions like Martha's, they're not. You see, you got your corporate freaks, Wall Street nuts, consulting hacks, and even your favorite politicians passing around secret information in the lunchroom getting fat. Now, I'm not gonna mention any names, but the third most powerful person in the country, Nancy Pelosi, outperformed Buffett, Soros, and Wood in 2020. She's a regular Gordonia gecko, apparently. Did you know that? She's not alone, though. A lot of her Congress cronies are in on the jig, too. But nothing says corrupt like Federal Reserve Vice Chair Richard Clarita stepping down this year after the Dallas and Boston Fed chiefs resigned. You see, they all got caught with their hands in the cookie jar trading stocks and mortgage-backed securities while making Fed policy that affects those markets. Now, if you're not following along, it's like this. It's like if the commissioner of the NFL, Roger Goodell, you know him? Yeah, it's like if he put a million bucks on the Chiefs over the Buccaneers in the Super Bowl and then spiked Tom Brady's Gatorade with Ambien. Yeah, Brady ain't winning that game. Goodell is. And that's cheating, right? You get it now? That's exactly what the commissioners of our money did. They spiked the system in their favor. But wait, there's more. The deck, it's stacked even higher against the American people when you count block trades, dark pools, and asymmetric access to information and capital. You heard of all of that, right? No? Exactly. They don't want you to know what that stuff is. 
The system is rigged and the people who rigged it, they want it to stay that way. Here's a story about two guys, Greg Smith and Michael Novak. You heard of them? They were buddies at JP Morgan. And last month, a jury found them both guilty. Turns out they, along with a bunch of their other Chase Morgan buddies, were engaged in a spoofing scheme. Do you know what that is? You see, these guys would place buy orders for gold, silver, and other metals that they had no intention of following through on. And so these fake buy orders would inject false and misleading information about precious metal demand into the markets. And so it drove prices in favor of orders that they did intend to execute on the opposite side of the market. For eight years, they made these bogus buys that lured unsuspecting investors like you, like me, your financial planner, the HR department in charge of your 401k, the manager of your pension, lured them all into disadvantaged trades. They made chumps out of everyone. And today, the system is so rigged that they're now turning on themselves. You see, the biggest banks in the country are under investigation for ripping off American cities with the same predatory lending that brought down Greece's system just seven years ago. Do you remember that? Now, it's not official, but here's a clue. The Federal Reserve holds credit default swaps on many of these same cities, along with debt owed by Florida, California, and Nevada. The Federal Reserve is betting against their own cities and states. The Federal Reserve is going to profit when the country fails. So where does that leave the American people? I mean, we got problems, don't we? Investing in income property is the answer for this. And for many more reasons than just this, but to stay on topic, real estate removes you from the rigged system. You see, the, the American people don't need their shares of Netflix or their 401ks or their pensions, but they do need their shelter. Sit on that for a second while I ask you this. When the Soviet Union failed, you know what happened to the Russian people? They got wrecked. But the people that emerged out of that mess with minimal damage, you know who they were? Yeah, owners of real estate. That's who. You see, investing in real estate, it aligns your interests with people's most important needs, shelter and security. If you wanna get rich, that's how you do it. If you wanna stay rich, that's how you do it. That's positioning. And it's not just the rigged system that's flushing your American dream down the toilet. There are six other imminent threats to your dream that you deserve to know too. I wrote a book about it. And if you want a copy, you're welcome to it. Link in the description below or go to epicfreedombook.com. The powers that be, they don't care about us. So that makes it up to us. We gotta stick together. It's getting creepy out there. I mean, prices are up, unemployment is on its way up. The stock market is down, crypto is down, gold is down. We're in this recession. I mean. What are we supposed to do? And if you're following the crowd right now, you're gonna get what the crowd's got. Diddly squat. You gotta think different. You gotta position yourself different. You gotta know stuff that you don't know right now. And it's more important than ever to learn that stuff. Grab a copy of this new book I just wrote. It'll get you started. Epicfreedombook.com. Link in the description. I mean, if you know something that will help someone else, it just ain't cool to keep it to yourself. That's why I'm giving this to you. And I don't want your money either. No shipping costs too, I got you. Health, peace, and blessings to you. And strap in, it's getting weird. And you know that's true. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.